score at the moment 12-0 uh, to Pukunui who seem to be pretty much on top of the game so far Pukunui consisting of uh, players from Gordonton Turonga Wawai and we see near the experience of uh, Sunny Skinner so Tony Fra having uh, a hard time at the moment in being trailing Hukunui 12-0. Hukunui now will play it 20 meters inside their own half. Good running and good tackling. So Tony Fra now in position in uh, Robbie Fanger. Derek making a good strong run, taking play up to the 10 meters out from the goal line. Losing the ball, referee saying play on, long pass out to Billy. Billy another long pass out to Wayne Rotana, who runs back with the ball but takes the ball out the outline and we'll scrum it midway between halfway and uh, Hukunui goal line. It's also interesting to see Pop Rye back in the side. Last week we saw Hukunui play against uh, Rangiriri and coming out winners. Hukunui winning 32 26. So Tony Fra now on attack. And an easy try to Wayne Rotana, scoring five meters on the left hand side of the uprights. And Harry Walker to take the kick. So some experience in the re reserve side in Harry Waikai. Pop Rai, Oldie Tawara. And a mixture of youth in uh, Paul Honor, Billy Rotana, Wayne Rotana, and Joseph Maratai. So score moving now to uh, 6 points to 12 to Hukunui. Being led by uh, the big prop experience of Sonny Skinner. <laughs> Billy Rotana having a mixture of a game uh, Billy Rotana this year. He pet him. Oh that's Pat Edwards. I'm sorry that was Pat Edwards. Pet, uh, Hailing from uh, Wellington, now uh, residing in uh, in Huntley here, and playing uh, playing prop. So Tony Fra on attack once more. Long pass out to Pat Edwards, goes astray, and Harvey Rotan having to run back and retrieve the ball, and he'll get up to play it 15 meters inside the Huguenot half. Dennis, a new, uh, a new man to the Tony Farrell side this year, playing good football. Pop Rye with the bomb. And a good take by the uh, Hukunui fullback. We'll get up to play at 10 metres out from Hukunui try line. So Hukunui in position, getting the ball onto Sunny. Sunny the long pass. Hukunui still managing to get the pass away. And losing the ball. And the referee not happy with the ball. Rolling around there, so he's called a scrum. Midway between the halfway and try line. 
So this is the second game in the um, competition between Waikaro and Hamilton. And interesting to know that Hukunui came out winners against Rangiri last weekend. So another scrum to go down. 20 meters out from the Hukunui try line. Tony Rowe on the tape. Hukunui in position. Ball going astray and another scrum. So the scrum to go down 20 meters out from the halfway line and it's turn it around position. still be able to get the pass away looking for the man getting the pass on but very lucky in retaining the ball pop right here. george taho back to pop right here, and he'll get up to play it three meters out from the line a quick run for the line but being held up just short harry he'll get up to play it about a meter out back to pop right here. long pass out long one going along the line out to Harvey Rotana, who, who just goes out short of the line, not able to stay in play, and the scrum to go down a meter out from the line. Bro with a with a quick tap, Pat Edwards, long pass over to uh, Wayne Rotana, sees a gap, gets through the gap, but held up, he's held up just short of the line. He'll get up to play it. Back to Harry. Harry on to Paul, but he's held with the ball and he'll get up to play it. Harry goes the other way and a long pass out to Pat Edwards. Pat Edwards props, comes back in, gets the ball on to Wayne. And he'll play it just short of the line. And well, we saw there Hukunui not being able to uh, retain the player. He's able to push him off and then go in for the try. So a good try there by uh, Derek Thompson. We saw the ball then hit the bar, go across, hit the other bar, and then come back this side of the post. So, kick unsuccessful, and the score moves to 10 points to 12 with half time coming up. Uh, half time in about, well, it's 20 minutes into play, so we're halfway through the first half. So the kick go into the full, so it'll be a free kick, the middle of the halfway for to Tani Vero. <coughs> Tap to be taken by Pop Rye. George Tahoe runs hard up. Player's not able to take him, he's able to get the ball away, but it goes to Stray and Hukunui in position. 
So who can wait to get up to play it five meters out from the halfway? Who can wait looking around and quite know where to pass it? And the ball going astray. Referee allowing play to go on. And so they'll play it 10 meters out from the halfway line. So we saw the kick then by Sunny Skinner taking play out on the 10 metre line in the Tanifra half. So scrum going down now on the 10 metre line. Tanifra in position, Wayne to Harry and a case of just not being ready not quite knowing what to do with the ball goes to ground so they'll scrum it 15 meters out inside the Tanit Raha Hukunu in position running the blind beats one man takes play right up 20 meters out from the try line. Hukunu in position, running from the dummy half. And he'll get up to play at 5 meters out from the line. They're going around there. Hukunu running hard. Taking play up closer to the line. About a meter or two out. He'll get up to play it. Murphy says the ball was knocked on when he played the ball, so they'll scrum it two meters out from the try line. And the game has uh, slowed down somewhat. We see a few missed tackles and a few drop passes. So we see a hooking infringement, so Hukunui gets the uh, free kick. A tap to be taken by uh, Sunny Skinner. Hukunui try and get that ball along the line. Out it goes. We have the two-man overlap. Ball's Ball going to ground and uh, referee says that it's a knock-on, so we'll scrum it. Again, a meter or two out from the line. So playing number eight for Tony Furo is uh, Pat Edwards. Tony Furo in position, two meters out from the line. Paul on to get up to play it. Dennis to Wayne. Wayne trying to find a gap. Hukunu is standing up inside the five meters. So that'll be a free kick. So there's a tap, Harry Waikai on to Pat Edwards, Pat runs, gets the ball on to John Halford, who'll get up to play it. Pat comes back the other way, on to Harry, Harry runs, props, looks for a gap, gets the ball on, on to John, John on to Joseph, Joseph gets the pass on to the winger, Harvey Rotana, who comes back inside, looking for the pass, on to John, Joe Maratahi, and he'll play it 20 metres inside the Hukunui half. On to Pat, Pat uh, to Wayne, and Wayne will get up to play it on the 25 meter line. Back again out the other way, Dennis trying to get through the gap, but he's brought down 20 meters out from the line. Pop, Pat, Pat on to George, and the referee says Hukunui, you're up again inside that 5 meter line. And the tap to be taken 10 meters out from the line. Pat Edwards runs, gets the ball onto Pop Ray, and he'll get up to play two meters out. Tony Furrow on attack. Out to George. George out to Harvey. Harvey Pops comes back inside, and he'll go in the corner and score two meters from the corner flag. That'll 
Hukunui have slowed down just a wee bit. They're unable to make the tackle. And Tanara able to make ground, resulting in a try by uh, Harvey Rotana. Play 25 minutes now into the first half. Play starting at half past 2.30. Kick by Derek Thompson goes in front of the posts. And so the score, 14 points to 12 to Tanira. So Tanira taking the lead now in the, in the first half for the first time, 14 points to 12. So the uh, Hukunui attack, the sting just going out of them for now. And Tanifra now starting to get on top of this game. Oli Tawara, one of the veterans. On to George. George takes the slip, loses the ball, and Hukunui in position. They're able to get the ball on, but it goes out of play and the scrum will go down 10 metres inside Tony Perot's half. So it's Hukunui's ball. Running hard up the centre, takes play up 30 metres out from the goal line. Sonny Skinner running hard, passes it back into the fullback. He makes good ground. But just not able to get the pass away. To all ex-soldiers who had served in Kenya. Yes. Penalties were offside. I, uh, I would think. Still trying to get onside, and Harry thought, well, it's better that we uh, give a penalty rather than a try. So Hukunui now on attack, five metres out from the from the line. The wingers take the tap. On it goes to Sonny. Sonny setting play up. Forwards coming back inside but losing the ball. And the referee saying the ball went forward. And we'll scrum it. Injury now. We take up injury time. Tanira seems to be on top at the moment, coming back into the game after trailing 12-0, 20 minutes into the first half. And now leading 14 points to 12. So the scrum to go down five meters out from the Tanifra try line. Turn it around to put the ball in. Ball coming straight out. We'll put it in again. Coming out to Tony Furrow. Tony Furrow and Paul will get up to play it five meters out. Pop. Out to Wayne Rotana. Harry Waikai. He'll run. On to Joseph Maratai. Finds a gap. Hits the pass on to Harvey. Harvey's... Takes play down to the halfway. Joseph in support. And he'll go in for the try. So a good try. A good try. Play starting out in front of the Tundra goal goalpost. Harry making the initial break for Joseph Maratahi. Was able to get the pass onto Harvey. And Harvey taking play right up to the halfway. Joseph Maratahi just staying in support of the in support of Harvey and taking the last pass and then running the last 40 meters to score 
10 meters from the corner flag. So that was a good try by the backs, set up by Harry, and good support by Joseph Maratahi, staying with the pass after he got it onto his winger and linking up, taking the last pass and scoring five meters, ten meters out from the corner flag. So Tony Farrell move uh, further ahead now, 18 points to 12. And Huku Nui looking rather depleted at this stage. But no doubt uh, there's still 40 minutes, well, 50 minutes of football yet to be played. So who can we to restart the game? The kick goes up. A lot of juggling around. The referee not happy with the ball being bounced around out there, so he's called a scrum. So the scrum to go down 15 metres inside the tunny for a half. Referee signalling that Hukunui put it under his hooker's foot. So Tony Farrell with the free kick. Pat Edwards to take the kick. And it goes out two metres inside the Hukunui half. Sonny Skinner is trying to rally his players who seem uh, rather depleted at the moment. So as I say, there's still 50 minutes of football yet to come. Well, a rather silly mistake by uh, Harvey. Not playing the ball properly with his foot and the referee calling a scrum. So Huganui to feed the scrum. Five metres inside the Huganui half. Huganui in position. Out it comes, round the backs with the run around. The standoff looking for the gap, but well taken. Harvey and Harry. Huganui still in position. Still into the backs. So they play it now right on the halfway. Play now inside the Tony Farrell half, 12 metres inside the Tony Farrell half. Hukunui backs, all set. Long passes out to the backs. Hukunui still in position, still being able to get the pass going, but the pass, that pass going astray and going into touch. Right on a 10 metre line, 10 metres inside the tunnel for a half. So Hukunui not quite knowing what to do with the ball, they're passing it around, but there it just doesn't seem to be anyone running onto the ball. And of course the handling errors not helping much either. So Tony Rod to feed the scrum. And ball not going not going going in properly. Scrum right on the 10 meter line. Scrum goes down, Tony Throw in position. Wayne right on out to Harry. Wayne with the run around, looking for the gap, but he'll get up to play it 15 meters inside the half. Harry looking for a gap, gets the pass on to Paul. Horner, who will get up to play it 11 metres out from the halfway. Harry running with the ball, taking play up to the halfway. Just up over the halfway, looking for the pass, but he'll get up to play it 2 metres inside, hooking to his half. George Taha worked the ball, but losing it in the tackle. Hukunui in position, and they'll get up to play it 11 metres inside the Hukunui half. Hukunui looking to run the ball, but running into a barrage of players, a high tackle by Harry Waiko. Hukunui with a free kick. Quick tap taken. Tanivara still inside the 10 metre. And the referee awarding the free kick. So the kick gone out, taken by Sunny, Martin, uh, Sunny Skinner. Gone out 
uh, 20 meters out from the uh, Tanivaro try line. So Sunny again to with the tip. So play has just come from one end of the field to the other, not gaining any ground at all. And the Hoganoi backs in, in position. So play now five metres out from the try line. Hoganoi in position. The backs running it, getting the pass on, and that was a good pass, put the man right in the gap, and he scored just a metre out from the, from the post. So that, that was a try resulting in the player able to get the pass away, drawing the man, getting the pass away, man going through the gap and then scoring two metres out from the goalpost. So the score now 16-18 with a kick to come. Then half time about two, three minutes away. The kick goes over. So that takes the score now to 18 or. So the lead just seesawing at the moment. And uh, with half time approaching, the score 18 all. So it's Hukunui in position, bringing play up 12 meters inside the Hukunui half, and they'll get up to play it. Sunny directing play at the moment for Hukunui. The halfback not going anywhere at all, and he'll get up to play it. Hugano is still in position. Sonny looking for the pass, looking for someone to get it to. Pass the long one out to the blind side, out to the standoff, and he'll take play up just a meter out from the halfway. Play coming back again to the open side, but the ball going to ground, going forward, and the referee says, we'll scrum it a metre inside the Hoganui half. <laughs> so Hoganui just being revitalised with a good try, bringing the score to 18 all. Hey, get up the scrum now going down. Referee still not happy with the with the scrum. <laughs> but a free kick has been awarded to Hukunui. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that was for. I think it was the hooker kicking the ball straight out again. So Skinner kicks for touch, takes play up 12 metres inside the Tanifuro half. So as half time approaches, we see uh, Hukunui getting back into the game. And are now on attack with a tap to come. Hogan in the middle of the field. The halftime bell has gone. Skinner elects to kick the bomb. No one, nobody wants it. Eventually, Hukunui gets it back. Skinner gets the ball on. Hukunui in position. They're not being able to take Hukunui with the ball. They're passing the ball around. The wingers runs hard up the centre of the field. The referee says, "We'll play it there." Hugano in position. Sunny fires a long one back out to the blind side. 
The big forward running, getting the pass on, but the pass going astray. Tony Rowe in position, Harvey with the ball, back inside to Paul Horner. He gets the ball on to Pat Edwards. Pat looking for the pass, gets the pass away again to Paul Horner. He runs, tries to find a gap, but the ball goes to ground. Pukano in position and the ref calls it half time. So second half just beginning with uh, the score at 18 points all and Hukunui in position so Hukunui now will play the ball in their half and Hukunui being able to get the pass away and Tanura not making the tackle which seems to be uh, seem to be somewhat of the pattern. Uh, they seem to be waiting for the player to come to them rather than get up onto the man and make the tackle. He's allowed to run at least at least 10 meters before anyone make, lays a hand on him. Pop Rye is just being warned uh, about an elbow in the tackle. And Huganui with a free kick taking play deep into the Tanifra half, halfway between the try line in the halfway so play now midway halfway and the Tanifra try line so Hukunui now with the pass a rejuvenated side by the looks of things getting the pass away onto the winger he makes a run for the line and a tackle not being made and so he'll get up to play it five meters out from the Tanifra try line Hukunui now in position passing the ball around Getting the ball on. Here we see a two-man overlap, but the the referee pulling them up. Drop pass, so the scrum will go down 50 meters out from the line. So Hukunui, a good start. In position. Standoff, taking the ball to the blind, and he'll play it. Referee penalising Pop once again, uh, taking the man without the ball. So Huganui in position. Good long pass out to the backs. Getting the pass on. Ref referee calling another penalty. Tony Voro standing inside the uh, 10 metre line, the 10 metre mark when the trap was taken. So Huganui again with the tap, five meters out. Huganui now passing the ball on. So it's out to the winger, runs hard to the line, but he's caught five meters out from the line. So Huganui passing, getting the ball around, getting the pass away. Players in position. And here's a fine try. There was a fine try by Hukunui. Tanifuro not being able to take the man with the ball, allowing him to run. And so he scores just a meter in from the from the corner flag. So there was a good try by Hukunui. They were able to uh, pass the ball around. Players being in position. And of course, the uh, try coming from a uh, from the lack of tackling by uh, Tani Faro, not not getting onto the man quick enough. He's allowed to run, and then consequently scoring uh, right in the corner flag. So Hukunui um, off to a good start. And take the score now to 22 points to 18 to Huganui. So Sonny looks as like Sonny's done his homework at half time, getting his players in twos yet again. And they're being able to run onto the ball, being able to get their passes away. And Tony Poto not making the tackle. Yeah, 
is uh, Rukunui now in position. Midway between halfway and try line. Yet again, Tanivara not making tackle. And so we see a free kick arguing to the ref. The referee taking them back and an extra 10 meters. So Tanivara is somewhat bewildered at the moment. And the free kick being taken takes play up 12 meters inside the Tanivara half with a tap to come. The tap, the run around. Huganui passing, getting the pass on. Tanivara just standing and looking at the moment. Not getting up on the man, not 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 making the tackle. Huganui in possession. Getting the pass around. Still not taking still not taking the man with the ball. In fact, they seem to be content with just playing the man rather than trying to get on with the game. So who can know? Ten meters inside the Tanivara half. Pass goes back inside. Getting the pass on. And it's finally Tanivara in position. So they'll get up to play it. Halfway between the halfway line and the try line. And Hukunui, we see Hukunui with the peg being penalised, being up inside the five metre line. Pat Edwards with a tap. He'll run. On to Oldie, Oldie will take play up to the halfway, back onto Pat. Pat gets the ball onto Tahoe, but he loses it in the tackle. Ball goes to ground, and we see the scrum right on the 10 metre line. 10 metres inside the Tanifaro uh, Hukunui half. Tanifro squandered that ball somewhat rather than uh, settle down and try to get back into the game there. Squandered the, the ball and so Hukunui now in possession. Sonny Skinner with the ball. Gets the pass on. Onto the Hukunui backs. He takes play up 10 metres inside the Tanifro half. So Hukunui still with, still with the ball. They'll get up to play it. Inside the Tanipura half. Little grab a kick over. And Tanipura in possession. George Tao in possession. Gets the pass on to Robin Farmer. He'll get up to play at 10 meters out from the halfway line. Popra decides to run with the ball. Gets the pass on to Pat Edwards. He gets the. pushes the play off but loses the ball. A rather silly pass. And Huganui getting the pass on yet again. And so they'll play it 15 metres inside the Tanifara half. Again on out to the back, Huganui. Looking for the pass. Back it comes. And so they'll play it now 12 metres inside the Tanifara half. Sunny Skinner running, looks, passes it back inside to the full back. He takes play up to the 25 meter line. Sonny looking again for the pass back inside. And so they'll play it now. 15 meters out from the line. Hooker Nui. Back inside again to the hooker. So we see a penalty there, the hooker in a dangerous dangerous leg action there. Eh? Could have resulted in some nasty injuries with the with these sprigs. Referee just reprimanding one of the spectators in uh, bad language, so they continue to play. Pettit is with a free kick, and the ball still in play. So Huganui now in uh, position yet again. 
Chuni Mira Sin Sati, Tani Furaha Hogan onto the backs. The ball going aground. No one wants it. The ball was there for the taking, but no one wanted it. So the referee says we'll scrum it. 12 meters out. Are you pulling? Hey, boy. All right? Where's mommy coming? So it's Tony Vero in position. Let's see if they can't manage to at least hold it for three tackles. So that's the second tackle. Lost it yet again. Tony Vero just not settling down into trying to set play up there. Squandering good ball and Hukunui playing good football and uh, being able to get the ball away. So here again we see uh, ball going astray, referee saying that's a knock on and we'll scrum it five meters out from the halfway. in possession. Tony Vero still not able to make a good clean tackle. And they'll get up to play at 15 meters inside the Tony Vero house. Hugano in possession. Still being able to get the pass away. Sunny skin. Long pass out to the centers. One man overlap. Get the pass back into the winger. He steps inside two press and he'll go in right under the post. So a fine try there by uh, the Hukunui winger. Coming back inside, getting the inside pass. And then scoring right between the post. I think that's the result of uh, the Tanivaro backs not being able to get up onto their men and, and making uh, making sure the tackle, they're tending to hold off, letting the players come to them, and the Hukunui players finding that uh, that agrees with them, they're able to dictate the play, and of course we see the result there in a, in a pass, the pass, flick pass back inside and the winger scoring between the posts. So Huganui move further forward with the kick to come and the score moving to 28 points to 18. So Huganui now with a 10 point lead. Then they have really started. Sunny skin. Long pass out to the centers. One man overlap, get the pass back into the winger. He steps inside two press and he'll go in right under the post. So a fine try there by uh, the Hukunui winger. Coming back inside, getting the inside pass and then scoring right between the post. And I think that's the result of uh, the Tanivaro backs not being able to get up onto their men and, and making uh, making sure the tackle, they're tending to hold off, letting the players come to them, and the Hukunui players finding that uh, that agrees with them, they're able to dictate the play, and of course we see the result there in a, in a pass, the pass, flick pass back inside and the winger scoring between the posts. So Huganui move further forward with the kick to come and the score moving to 28 points to 18. 
So Huguenoy now with a 10 point lead. Zinja really started off on a fine note for the second half. They have showed great skill in the in the passing, running and tackling. Which seems to be lacking just at the moment in the uh, Tanifro pack. So play again to restart. And ball going to ground, so Tanifro in, in position. George Taha with the ball. He'll get up to play it just inside the 25 meter line. Derek goes to the ground. Nobody wants it. Tony Brobeck's in position. Pat Edwards out, playing out in the centers. He'll get up to play it on a 25 meter line. Referee says you did not play that with your foot and we'll have a penalty to Huguenoy. So again, we see a uh, good ball going going to waste. And Tony Farrell not being able to uh, be allowed to settle down in their play. And Hukunui right on top at the moment. So play now taken up right on the halfway line. But Hukunui in possession, the tap to come. Sonny looking for his troops. Out it goes along the uh, Hukunui back line. And they'll play it eight meters inside the Hukunui half. Along again to the Hukunui back line. Tanivro still standing back, still standing off the man, not getting up onto the man to make the tackle. They're quite content with having the player come to them rather than get up on the man and make the tackle. Sonny, he likes to kick for the line. And a good kick. Ball bouncing into touch on the uh, 25 meter line. Well, Tony Brown not being able to settle down in the second half. And Hukunui right on top of the game. Making fewer mistakes and making the most of the ball. So who can we just dictating the play at the moment? And we're halfway through the second half. So when it goes out, it comes to Hukunui. Backs in position, still not making the, the tackle clean. Hukunui getting the pass on and uh, getting it onto the winger. Not making the tackle, Tanifro. Eventually he goes down and he'll get up to play it 20 meters out from the line. Hoganui yet again long passes. Sonny looking for the inside pass. And Tanguro in position. Pop. Out to Derek. Derek take plays up to the halfway. He'll get up to play it on the halfway line. Back to Harvey. Harvey on to Oldie. Oldie on to Dennis. Dennis taking a grease, going up over the halfway, get the pass on. Harry looks for the inside pass. And he'll play it on the halfway line. Up over the 10, 10 meter line. Plays it back to Wayne Rotana. Wayne will get up to play it 12 meters inside the Hukunui half. Pop Rai with the grab a kick onto the Hukunui winner. He comes back inside, loses the ball. Wayne Rotan in position. Takes play up to the middle of the field, 15 meters out from the line. George Tahoe onto Pat, Pat Edwards. Pat 
Gets a long pass. But the pass goes out. And so we have the scrum 10 meters out from the Huganui line. Ball put in one by Huganui. Out it goes to the second 5 8. And this seems to be the fault of Tony Ferraro, the lack of tackling. Very, very poor. Play the ball to Huganui out to Sonny Skinner into his loose forward. He's running very strong. A lovely run this. Out to his winger. Down the line he goes. Good tackle there by John Halford. Who can we to play the ball? Out to halfback. Drop and the referee calls a scrum. Is Tenny Ferrer starting to let this game slip through their fingers due to lack of tackling, uh, drop balls, and arguing back to the referee, which is just not on in this type of football. Scrum goes down, in goes the ball. And a free kick, the referee says, to Tony Ferrer. Probably an obstruction in the scrum. Skipper Harry Wackey comes up to take the tap, and away he goes. On to Pat Edwards. On to Joe Malatai. On to Wayne Ratana. Wayne is pinning his ears back. He's having a go. A lovely tackle there by fullback. Hook and new fullback. He's up to play the ball. Tony Farrar play the ball. Out it goes to the pad Edwards. Into Oldie. And Oldie has a barge. The referee didn't see that knock on. So we'll play the ball, says Tony, the referee to Tony Farrar. And here we go again. Setting up plays. Joe Mulatay. Out goes the pass. For young Paul. It goes out to Pat again. Over to Oldie, and Oldie looks like he's seen the gap, and he's through. It's a lovely move. Through the de sheer determination that Oldie Tawara had gone over for that try. Uh, the trouble with this time for our side, they just seem to lax, and then all of a sudden they get their act together and start to put themselves on the board. They're now trailing by 28 points to 18. That try would bring them up to 22 points to 28 with the conversion to come. Harry White guy stepping back and taking the kick. Moves in and the kick is successful. The score is now 28, 26, sorry, 28, 24 to Huganui. Back we go to halfway to restart. Take a bit more slack. Okay. Yeah, the game is still pretty easy in anybody's game at this stage. Kick off. Oldie takes it on the full. Ducks and dodge. Passes on to George. George takes a drive up the centre and well taken there by Hukunui. Play the ball. Back to number five. Out to pop right here. On again to uh, the winger. Out to Derek. Derek is taken and he will get up and play the ball. Out to pop right on to George. Out to Oldie. Oldie moves in and try and takes the gap, but he gets tackled. Harper gets up to play the ball. George receives it from Dummy Harper and has a run. He's having to go up front. He's good running there, passing a well pass on to Oldie. And a good tackle by Hukunui. Derek Thompson has a go now. Passes on to Pop Rahe. Pop Rahe tries to have a go. And he's tackled. This would be just about the last tackle on Tony Farrar now. Harry White guy sees the gap, kicks through. And it's taken out of the play. I don't know whether the referee had seen that or not. A fair try. A fair try, the referee calls. A fair try by Harvey. Harry Waikai first makes the break. Rubber kicks through and taken out of the play. And then Harvey follows up the ball, dives on it right into the goal line. A beautiful try. A well-executed thinking there by skipper Harry Waikai. Now things are starting to look a bit better. It sort of brings the score back to even, 28 all. Now we'll soon see how who rises to the occasion in a few more minutes. So 
Robert Fryer moves in now for the kick. Hits it, but not too well. So the score remains at 28 all. The game's starting to pick up excitement now. Uh, the crowds are getting a little more, more behind their clubs. Ten for our supporters on one side here, barracking for their side. Who can we on the other side, barracking for their side? And it's anybody's game. The game's probably been in progress for about 20 minutes, Rick. It's 20 minutes. Sonny Skinner to kick off from the halfway. The kick is gone. George Taho receives it. He's having a go. He's busting up the center, but no, he's well taken by three Hukunoi players. Play the ball, says the referee. He taps it and has another go. And the man is within the five yard. He's now been penalized. But I think George could have done something very stupid there. Yes, he had the penalty. He elected to have a go at the man. Now he's lost the penalty and it's a scrum to be formed on a halfway. It's a silly thing to do that. While he had possession of the ball, he turns around and throws it away just through a stupid thing like that. Scrum goes down. Ball's put in and Hukunui has won it. Out it goes to the first five. And to the second as the first five comes around. Pat Edwards selects top. He's away. He's running. He's having a go. Well taken by a Hukunui player. Up he gets to play the ball. Harry Waikai is getting there. Harry's going to have a try. Out he goes to Oldie. Out he goes to Pop. Out he goes to Joe. And the ball is dropped. And he's picked up again. But the referee says it's a knock on. So we'll come back and form a scrum. The game seems to be picking up excitement now at this stage. And uh, everything seems to be on. The I think this, the top team is going to come out would be the fittest of the two. Down goes the scrum. They've been having a lot of hassles in the scrum with who's getting a loose head and who's not having a loose head. Down it goes. The ball is just about to be put in. The ball is in. And Terry Ferrer wins it. Referee says play the ball. Young Paul only gets up and plays the ball. And George has a go. From dummy half. No, he's touched the referee, which put the ball automatically dead. Scrum back, says the referee. Scrum goes down. In goes the ball. No, it's out the wrong side, says the ref. We'll have it put back in again. Here it goes. No, the ball did not come out. There's a penalty to Tony Farrell due to the halfback not retiring. Okay. Oldie has a tap. He's had a tap. Having a go. Out goes the ball to Harry Waikai. On again to John Halford. He's taken about 10 yards from the goal line. Out it goes to Harry Waikai. He sees the gap. He's having a go. Referee blows the ball. I think it was through a bad play the ball. An illegal play the ball without using his feet. He pushed it back with his hands. So the referee's calling back for a scrum. These are the silly things that goes on in this game that costing each side, either side of doing it, costing them the game. They've got to sharpen up on their rules. So now we'll have a scrum. Down goes the scrum. The ball is locked in. Won by Tony Farrar. Paul Hono dives on it. He gets up to play the ball. Harry Waikai, dummy half. Has a go. Pat Edwards having a run. Here he goes. He's taken about 10 meters short of the goal line. Out it goes to Harry Waikai. He has a run. Harry Waikai is caught and he's brought down about 5 meters short. Gets up and play the ball. Papaya, dummy half. Out it goes to Pat Edwards. Pedro's going to pass. No, he's going to have a go. Oh, it's bad luck. So try to get the pass away to Oldie, but it's been knocked on, and the referee calls a scrum. It's 
Yes, how can we put in? I am sure it'd be 24 hours. No, how can we put in? How can we lose it? The infringement was done by 24 hours. Down goes the scrum. Balls put in back. No, it's come out the wrong side. Come straight back out again where he calls for another scrum. In goes the ball. It is won by Hukunui. Hapak licks to run to the blind side. Taken there by Paul, the opposition. Hapak gets, plays the ball. Out it goes to Sonny Skinner. On to his fullback. He gives an inside pass. It's well taken there. And it's pass out to the winger. It's also taken. Gets his pass away. And passes on to the winger. The chase is on now. And it's been pushed into touch by fullback John Halford. Griffey calls him in, 10 yards from the sideline for a scrum. Tony Farrar put in, Tony Farrar loose. Come on, Tony Farrar! <laughs> so the scrum is to go down. George Merriman, the referee, has called a scrum and it's Tony Farrar's loose head. Ball comes out the side, Tenny come up with the ball, but the referee says another scrum, another scrum. The ball has come out again. So those hookers are after their ball. A lot of bickering going on in there. Come out again. Danny, Danny, Danny Farrell has come up with the ball. So they play the ball. Goes out to uh, Edwards. He runs. Tackled by about three Okanui guys. Harry, Harry to take it. He lets it go. The first five has come up for a run. He's taken out of the plate. And Danny Farrow has been rewarded the penalty back chatting the ref. Virtually out in front of the post. And Harry, white guy is about to have a shot at goal. So this is an easy attempt for Harry. If he gets it, it should, should take them further ahead of Hukunui. It only makes it harder for Hukunui to try and pull them back. Good kick by Harry, yeah, it's there. So that takes him further ahead. You've got to watch this old guy, he's pretty clued up on the way he's, uh, every, dirt, every dirty little uh, way playing football, Harry knows it. A couple of times there he has uh, actually interfered with play against the rules which has stopped uh, Hukunui scoring tries, twice I think it is. So we'll go back to the kickoff. This can just recommence start and halfway. He likes to kick to the opposite side of the paddock of his forwards. Well taken there by Joe. The kids come back. Come back. Oh, yes, good tackle there by Hukunui. Harry Waikai takes the ball from dummy half. He has a run. He's looking for support. Punches up the centre. Well taken again. He plays the ball back to Robert Fong. Robert Fong has a go. Starting to run the ball a lot better now, Tony Farrar. They're all looking for work. George Taho gets the ball. Moves. He has a go. Running through. He's driving there. Driving. Hukunui back and back and back. This way they go again. Play the ball to Old to Oldie. Oldie looking for a man. Derek comes through on a burst. Well taken by Derek, but he's lost the ball. Ball goes dead, Harvey picks it up, and the referee says a knock on. No advantage, so we'll take the scrum. Hey, you kids, get back, because the camera will pick you up, eh? Yeah, Sit over here. Daddy! You might pick the camera. <laughs> Daddy! Little baby die. No. Yeah. yeah. Down goes the scrum. Half back to put it in. In goes the ball. Hook and his ball is out of goes the first five. Out into the second. Moves it on to the full back who's coming to the back line. Harry Waikai moves in for the tackle. Well taken. The pass goes front, but the referee indicates that it's been hit on his string. Onto the wing. A good kick through. But no, it's been kicked out on the full. We'll take the scrum back where the kick was taken. A good move there from Hukunui. Channing for our cover defense seems to be a lot better. But that two point start uh, lead in front seems to give them that little bit of edge that they need. See Pop right here, they're rallying these boys on now, pushing the younger chaps, getting them to get going. 
And now we'll put this gun down right on the 25 metre line in Hukunui's territory. Down goes Scrum, in goes the ball, and the ball is won by, by Tony Farrar. Out to the halfback, on to Perry, which is playing his standoff. Out to Harry Wakers at centre. On to John Halford, who came to the back line to make the extra man, but taken well, cleared by Hukunui Loose for it. Out it goes to Harry, played back to Harry Wakai. On to Perry, which Perry would select to have a go. He's taking an lovely tackle. Gets up to play the ball to Robert Fanga. On to Robert Fanga, out to Harry Wakai. And Harry Wakai is having a dip. Back it comes Robert Fanga, on to Pat Edwards. Pat Edwards is trying to look for a gap. He's found a gap. Is he fast enough to get there? Will the power take him? He's gone over. And a beautiful try by Pat Edwards. He picked the ball up from that inside the 25 metres. Elected to have a go and saw the gap, turned, moved through the gap and pick up pace. And two joggers came to take him, but the momentum of his weight just carried him right over the top. There was too much for the, for the opposition to bring him down. A lovely try taken by Pat Edwards. Now we come back for Harry Waka to take the kick. Tony Farrar has now moved into 34 to 28. Now this would put them six points. With this kick here, they'd need two tries to, to be in front of Tony Farrar. Harry Waka kicks, and the kick is good. The score now is 36 points to 28. So Hukunui would now have to score two tries to be, to be in front of Tony Farrar. A try would won't be enough. A try and a conversion and a penalty would only give them a draw. So now we come back to the halfway to kick off for the... The game has been in progress for roughly about 30 minutes. The ball is kicked off. George Tower takes it cleanly on the full. Passes out to Oli Tawara. Out to Robert Fanga. Robert tries to find a gap. He's running. It's looking for the gap. But he's been taken clean on the, on the halfway mark. Pays it back to Pop Rahe. Out to Harry Waikai. Harry Waikai sees the gap again. He's moving through. He's got Pat Edwards on the inside. Pat picks up the gap. Pat's running now. Pat's got a man on the outside. And he's got another man on the outside him. Oh, a bad luck there. A beautiful run. Good backing up. The pass one from Pat Edwards. On to number 13, loose forward for Tony Farrar, who ran about 10 metres and saw Harvey uh, Rotana on the right-hand side with a clear field, pass it out, and Harvey couldn't hold it. Now we come back for the scrum for the knock. The scrum and the ball come out the wrong side against his referee, Berryman. Back to the Scrum goes down again. In goes the ball. Out it comes again, the wrong side. The ball is out. It's won by Hukunui. Out to the first 5-8. Out to the second. The fullback is in once again. Harry Waikai moves in. A good pass there. Out to the centre. Centre has a go. And he's taking it. Winger has got a run on here. Will they be able to catch him? Will they be able to catch him? He's running so well here. A lovely tackle. A lovely tackle by the opposite winger. He came right across from the other side. Play the ball, says the referee. Yes, he's been taken also. Now he's got the pass away. Out it goes into the halfback. On it goes to the loose forward. On it goes to the centre, and the centre's having a go, but he's taken in a good tackle by Derek Thompson. Play the ball. No, they've, they've obstructed him from playing the ball. So the referee has called for a penalty to Hukunui. Hukunui taps the ball, but Tony Farrar moves up faster. He brought it, brought it back into the thing in front of the goalpost. Yes, he taps the ball and catches Tony Farrar napping and then dives over for the try. The referee says a fair try. So there's a try for Hukunui. The game's getting a little bit more excited once again with Hukunui scoring there, bringing them closer, four points closer to their, to their margin. Don't forget, they're only... Eight points in front, Tony Farrar were eight points in front, they're only now four points. Sonny Skinner, Skinner to take the kick. Over it goes, that brings them to 34 to 36 in Tony Farrar's favour. Two points short. So we come back to the halfway for the restart. There can't be much more time in this game. It's gone 35 minutes now. I don't know whether we're into injury time or not, but we're waiting, just waiting for the ball to come. He's got the spectators on each here now. 
But the score's been so close. Harry White Clay to restart from this halfway. He is taken clean by Sonny Skinner. Out it goes to his fullback. Tony Ferrari defense comes up. He's taken in a good tackle by Harry Waikai. Gets up and plays the ball. Out it goes to one of the forwards. Just about breaks the tackle, but he's also taken clear. And Tony Ferrari's gained possession. Tony Ferrari's gained possession in that. Pat Edwards taken clear. Out it goes to George Taho. George Taho has the go. George has the run. He's taken in the 25 meters mark for Huganui. And it goes to Paul. And again on to the loose for Terry Farrell, but the referee says no. Huganui, you're in the five yards. Popeye comes up, takes the tap kick. Has a go. She's still not in the five yards. Still not in the five yards. Back. They're still short. They decide to take the goal. Yes, Harry Waikos decided to take the kick. This would bring them four points. If Harry Waiko takes this kick successfully, it would make them four points in front of Uganui. With time running out, all the points count. <laughs> and the kick is successful. The game is once again alive. The game was starting to die a while back there. Lack of uh, backing up, stupid passing. Um, bad tackling, but everything seems to be on edge now, and both teams are fighting to get that lead for the, before the final bell goes. So we restart here at the halfway for Gunnui kicking. <laughs> taken well clean by Pop right here. Pop's taken and tackled. He's lick, he has to play the ball. Out it goes to George Taho. George has a run. George has been working tirelessly all day. He's been doing his job, just driving that ball away until his backs get set up. Now the loose forward is having a go. He's taken in the tackle. Play it, says the ref. Pat Edwards, but the plane dummy half. Out it goes to Joe Maratai. On Inside pass to Paul. Out to Pat Edwards. Out it goes to the loose forward again. And it's taken by Sonny Skinner. Play the ball, says the referee. Out it goes to Derek. On it goes to Pat. Oh, that was a very, very, very bad pass from Pat Edwards. Inside passing and the winger. Yes, they're hooking out his pass and his ball. They're trying everything. They're trying all they could, to, anything that they can to get, get to find a gap. Tackle, the ball is still alive. On it goes again. But Harry Waikai picks it up. So Tanny Farrar has position. Play the ball, says the referee. Petty Woods has played the ball. Harry White guy takes it. Come here. Come here. He's well taken in the tackle by Sonny Skinner. He gets up to play the ball. Joe Maratai playing dummy half. Here goes the final bell. All they have to do is kill the play, and they've got the game sewn up. He's taken in the tackle. So the referee doesn't hear the bell. He tells him to carry on and play it. Passes out to Wayne Rotana. And there it is. Tony Farrar has just eluded Hukunui by 38 points to four. And a very, very good game by Hukunui. As I said in the previous thing, that it had to be the fittest to, to come out the runner, the winners of this game. But all credit goes to Hukunui. They played a good game. They ran well. They've kept the ball alive as much as they could. This would put Tony Farrar the leading so far in the Hamilton competition.